February 2nd. Just sitting out here in nature at my dad's house. Update, my head uh, swelling has gone way down. It still hurts a little bit, but on Thursday I had one of my best practices, uh, especially fielding ground balls, really watching it into the glove really nice and just feeling all the rust coming off. Some other thoughts I've been having is in hitting, it's really about being the sum of it all when you step into the box, being ready and absolute observance and acceptance of the moment coming to you. I've been feeling really, really motivated to, to start getting more into meditation, start, start getting back into my practice more and writing um, more into mastery um, because the acceptance to accept and to put it upon yourself to manifest your dreams is responsibility, but responsibility is freedom. I think it was Joe Rogan said, you can put any type of lifestyle you want in your mind together and have it come true out here. And therein lies the freedom to be able to manufacture the process and get on the path and stay on it and have that discipline. Um, I've really been learning a lot about that and I want to give it back to the world because I think we need it. You know, even even if it's a, a lifelong dream, even if it's a two-year dream, a one-year dream, a business plan, like to go after that daydream, that visualized daydream um, is so important uh, to set up your future. If, if you could see your timeline out a hundred years and you just you just grinded the next 700 days to, to set yourself up, why not? Take a chance, follow your heart, manifest your vision. Uh, we're so co-creative in the universe that it's, it's up to us to do it. Um, and I think that's what's so beautiful about actually being, <laughs> being here. Just wanted to get a couple of those thoughts out. I do wanna talk a little bit about how the subconscious mind and the human condition, 95% of it, six seconds before anything happens, you've already thought about it and it's already going to happen. So six seconds before anything happens, it's already been sort of encoded subconsciously. And so to win in that bat is to win it on the on deck circle with proper priming, poising, rhythm, timing, visualization, right effort, optimism, and acceptance to observe the su success at the plate. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming into huge deep insights and I'm, I'm really, really excited for myself and the team here coming up. Just wanted to sit with these thoughts, get them out in this, this natural environment.
See, I just figured out most of my problems are me overthinking my swing right right now. So you know what Nick told me that helped? He said No, he said he said your brain does all the calculations. Don't even think about it. exactly I'm teaching. Number 25. 